Are uh, you ready to do rock and roll? Alright guys, I'm here with Paul. Good to see you, mate. You too. He owns this FJ20 Series 28. Give us a chat about it. Mate, it's a, it's a 58 model. Um, it's supposedly the seventh oldest in the world, going off a register online. There's probably others hiding in sheds that are older, but it's pretty old. Um, the easiest way to tell, if you look down here on the chassis, yeah. uh, it says number eight, and then FJ28 and the chassis number. But that eight is very important. It means it comes from 58, right. which is really unique. Yeah. Um, so this is an FJ28. The one over there is an FJ25. Yeah. So these are slightly longer in the chassis. Yeah. So you own a museum and you run the museum. Yeah, we've got a car dealership yeah. and we've got a 12, 14 old classics on display. Yeah. Um, it just helps draw people in. And so that's open to the public? Open to the public, it's free. Yeah. Um, we've got pretty well every Land Cruiser pre-1984 pre that ever was. Yeah. And they're all on display, they're all running, they're Where all driving. Is that? It's at Baringa on the Sunshine Coast, gotcha. just on the outskirts of Caloundra. Yeah. Um, it just helps people, you know, helps people make you know, become comfortable when they come in the yard and everyone's nostalgic about cruises, so, yeah, yeah and we like it as well, yeah. it's enjoyable. So how did you come about having this FJ? I bought this just online about three, four years ago. Yeah. Um, came from Canberra, uh, apparently it was in a paddock for years. Yeah. It's probably lucky it was in Canberra, because yeah. it was quite humid, it's not like, you know, being Sunshine Coast. Oh. Um, it's bruised and battered, but it's not rusty. Yeah, right. um, it's really good in the body. Yeah. Give us a look, so is this an NRMA? Sticker. Yeah, that's a very old and very dated NRMA sticker, so it may have been a service vehicle back in the day, which which adds to it. Um, you'd never bother restoring this car. You'd probably just get it roadworthy, do the little things. Uh, it's got here. Um, you wouldn't believe it, but it's actually got a fully reconditioned engine. Yeah, yeah. And who did that? Uh, previous owner. Yeah, right. It, it, it became too much of a project. Yeah. But, Rock shot. So that's... The Oops. fellow before us did fully recondition the engine. It's got all new electrical wiring, all new brakes. Um, so it's three quarters of the way there. Yeah. And what gearbox are these? Around? These are four speed. Yeah. So they only had high range, uh, the 20s. They didn't have a low range. They didn't have a splitter box like the 40s. Um, but yeah, it's, it's did you mention that this was a feast car? No, it's everyone says the 20 series. Their 20 series is a feast car, but yeah. I don't know. Okay, so it's all hearsay pretty hearsay, much. Hearsay, yeah. Yeah, right. But on. we, um, it's certainly one of the very early ones. Yeah. So did you drive this off the trailer? You trailer it here, did trailer you? Trailer it here and it drives. It starts beautifully, it starts yeah. instantly. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's not registered. No. Not registered, no. no. Put some tail lights in the back and do a bit yeah. of suspension and you could. Do you think you will ever? No. No. Nah. Yeah, not even clubs. Yeah. 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 All right. There's a few there. Need some tail lights. Yeah, right. Probably get a new tailgate. Made one day. So, so this diff is in the center as well. That's so right. these real early ones, they all run. Like they all do. That's that's what um, that's what makes the twenty series. Yeah. So is this the standard location for where the tail light would have been? There's so little information. You don't know. It must be. Yeah. So um, when they came in from from uh, Japan, they were actually just the forward part of the body. Yeah. These rear parts were made by a um, a contractor. Right. I think a company called B and D. Right. So. Um, and there were a couple over there, a couple of different ones over the years. Yeah. yeah. How many of these do you know even exist? So you, like, I know obviously you're saying your number. Supposedly, yeah. there is a register. Um, there's a, a website called Mud yeah. for, for Land Cruiser enthusiasts, and um, it's number seven on the oldest. Oh. No doubt, there's other ones. Yeah. Oh, right. Um, but oh. we had a rag canopy one day, which would have been pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Cool. You got any like other plans? Or are you just going to keep it like that? Like just keep it like this. Yeah. Probably get some tail lights. Get it to a level where we can drive it home. Yeah, true. Take the kids to sport. Yeah. Muck around. So you could see this thing on the road, and I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. You won't find much earlier. Yeah. It's been interesting today. We've had a couple of old boys come and see us and yeah. teach us a few things about what's yeah. what. Yeah, you would for sure. Yeah. See the the floors on it are excellent. Yeah. Um, very very early dash. Uh, everything works. Speedo works, the gauges work. Is that um, a, that, that's in miles, isn't it's it? It's in miles, yeah. yeah. Right. There's a little centerpiece that's missing, but we've got it. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the seats are out of a 40 series. And my head hits the roof, so we need to drop the seats a bit. Yeah, and you're a pretty tall fella, yeah. yeah. They're never designed for us tall fellas, really, are they? What's really cool is this here. 
This is Feast Sales, 7, 743 Fairfield Road, Yoronga. Yeah, right. And the condition of it, and I've had, I've had three or four of these, and those plaques are always shining and, you know, just goes to show you the quality they were made. Yeah. So that obviously um, was not there from the factory, nah. but someone's just chopped that in. Yeah. yeah. So these never had any sort of window or nothing, eh? Yeah, they did. If you have a look on the 25, that's a very basic door card and, okay. and card it is. And was it a pull-up? Uh, sliding perspex. Gotcha. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, but it's, there's not a lot out there worldwide. It's pretty, pretty rare. Yeah, not wrong. And awesome. it, it, it would start instantly. First go. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Dinosaur. Yeah. Paul, Paul also owns this FJ45V. She's a bit of a rig. Tell me a bit about it. So these are really the pioneer. This is what started the Land Cruiser wagon. They brought 110 into the country. Yeah. I think they started, correct me if I'm wrong, about 1963 to 1967. Yeah. Um, this came out of Cloncurry. So it's a pretty cool photo over there. That was the ad that was run. Yeah. So you can see the red dirt. So you found this car. Yeah. That ad and you bought it off that. That's right, yes. Yeah. Bought it sight unseen. True. And uh, turned up and I'm pretty pleased with it. Yeah. Um, How long ago was that? Oh, it'd be two years. Gotcha. So you can see they sort of stole some of the lines out of a Jeep wagon here. You can yeah, see the, right, eh? a bit of a shame, the right? early days. Yeah, but, right. um, and you don't have side steps in front of no, not at all. Very unique around the windscreen too. Yeah, the they are the all, pillars. It's all fixed cab. Yeah, nice. Yeah, but it's you know it's bruised and battered again, but it's it's pretty well dry. Yeah. So this PDO winch and everything, how does everything work? I think nah, so. it runs and drives, but we well we haven't even tried. Yeah, no. Yeah, right, eh? At the moment, they're just on display at the dealership, and yeah, right, eh? um, we, we haven't got to it. Yeah, cool. Um, the floors on this one are. Superb. Immaculate. Immaculate. Well, is there much for us in it, really? Like, apart from the superficial stuff? Not at all. No, you just have to follow the lines all the way around. Yeah. Look at the, the bib or the apron under the headlights. Yeah. Uh, even the roof yeah. is really good on it. Yeah, right. Um, is there anything exciting going on in the engine bay? Or? Nah, it's, it's, a, it's actually a non-matching numbers. Oh, is it? Um, so it's got a, a 2F. It's pretty well got FJ55 engine. Gotcha. And the bloke put a speedo cluster out of a 55 in it. Yeah. Uh, which we're going to revert back. It's not hard to put a, an F135 in it, and the original dash, which we'll do. Yeah. Um, but they're hard to get, yeah, and, and a lot of them just are, are gone and rusted. Yeah. What's um, going on with these seats? I just noticed. Nah, that. they're non-original. Yeah, right. Oh, that's um, a shame. To try and find a, a, they had a big bench. Yeah. But to try and find that would be hard work, but yeah, you, know, no, you right. never know. One might pop up. Yeah. How's old cocky got creative with the roof rack? Yeah. Good on him. Having solid. A car. Yeah, it's yeah. always more than bloody old roof the car. No, you have, have a look at the floor. The floor is brilliant. Yeah, isn't it? Not even that banged up, really, surprisingly. The, this tailgate is enormous. Yeah, she's it's, a monster. It's a workout. Yeah, right. But, um... Yeah. So someone's mucked around and put speakers and stuff in it. Yeah, 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 modernised. It's got a four-speed in it rather than a three-speed. Yeah, right. This after a hard day work and you feed the dogs, is it? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, nice. Wash your hands. Yeah, it's definitely got character, for sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah, right. I, I wouldn't change it. If, if no. anything, you'd put an original motor in it or you'd do a resto mod and you'd, you'd put something more, a turbo diesel in it. Yeah. Do you think you would? Though? I'd like to, but, you know, time, money, yeah. effort. Yeah. Um, so not any time soon, you know? No, no, we'll, we'll leave it. Yeah. Um, we'll leave it as it is. But yeah, nice. It tells a good story. Yeah, not wrong. Sometimes I like to, to look at the old girl to tell a story rather than the shinies. Yeah, no, I hear you, for sure. Definitely got character. Going on the interior is bad for you. Again, the, the, yeah, you can right. see the clusters incorrect, but yeah. it's not hard. The steering wheel's wrong. The column. Usually that's FJ55. Yeah. It? yeah. So we've got all the right dash. It's all there. Yeah. Just got to find the time to do it. Yeah. No, I hear you. But the floors are good, which is uh, yeah. to fix a floor so labour intensive yeah. and costly. Yeah, that's a real deal right there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But um, it's, I reckon it's probably the. Probably the, one of the rarest I've got because they only made 110. Well, they only brought 110 into the country. Okay, yes. so Australia 110. Yeah. There's um, there's a good few still here though. I think there's a couple here on display today. Yeah. Are those? Do you reckon those indicators were the correct? Ones? No, no. no. Are, no. Little yeah. things like that. The mirrors indicators are wrong. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, it's probably a 75% original car. Yeah. But it's not that hard to fix. No, no. Yeah, sure. Yeah. What's this behind you? 
Um, it still goes, you know, it's still running. Yeah, it still runs and drives. You can drive it around the block if you want it. Yeah. yeah right. uh, this one here is a 1960 FJ25. So again, a 20 series, which is four speed, high range only, center diff. Yeah. Um, I bought it off a bloke in Mwoolumba. Been in a shed for 15 years. Yeah. Um, literally points, plugs, a battery, a bit of fuel. True. And she started all of them. All of the ones I've ever had that have been sitting. Yeah. Uh, our Andrew, our mechanic, just gets them going and yeah, they're just right. so simple. And how long ago this one? This one's probably four or five years. Yeah, right. So it's all pretty sort of recent to be having these cool yeah. things, eh? These bumpers are a funny story. These are very unique the way they turn in here. Yeah. Um, you just can't get them. But I, I went online and put it out there would anyone have one? Yeah. And a bloke from America rang and said if I could find him some barn doors to a 70 series trooper, he'd give it to me. Yeah, and you know, three months later, it arrived on the doorstep. That's cool. Yeah, like different countries have stuff they're sort after versus. Yeah. So that is the factory bumper. That's an, ex an original factory bumper. That's unreal. Yeah. But yeah, these T Bird emblems. Yeah. Um, Still a few different features. Yeah. This one here is the original motor. So, yeah, she's the real deal. The beauty of these, even though it's a 1960 and it's a 20 series, um, they're an incredibly talky motor. Yeah. Um, really grunty. And they're uh, all fuel guzzling. Fuel guzzling, yeah. yeah. But um, quite surprising. I mean, back in the day, they would have been quite an exciting car, don't Yeah, so this thing drives. Oh, this thing, we, yeah, we, we, um, we did some filming for another project with this only a couple of weeks ago and yeah. probably did 70, 80 k's in it. How does it go stopping? Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, you're right. Not too bad. Yeah, I thought it could have been a bit of a roller coaster. Yeah, you got to start pumping early. Yeah, not wrong. Be the first time. Again, there's a there's a Clark Center dash where this one came from, Thies Mascot. So it was originally sold out of Sydney. Yeah. Um, floors are excellent. Yeah, they are. They're immaculate. Uh, these rims are, are funny. They've got this oval. Yeah, I haven't um, seen that before. That's what signifies a 20 series rim. Right. Um, they're very hard to get. Yeah, I've never seen This one's got five. That's the go. So is this the original spare holder? Yeah, it is. Yeah. You can see the tyre, it's got a bar tread. Um, that yeah. tyre that, that would have aged out years ago. Yeah. But it's a, it's a good look. Yeah, not wrong. Yeah, it's remarkably straight. Yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, anything else cool about it? It's got an old Q plate. Yeah, I've seen that. That actually predates this. I think that's from around 1955. I got it off another car. Yeah. But it, it's a bit unique. Yeah, right. How much of this actually works? Do the wipers work and stuff like that? Uh, yeah. Wipers, no. Yeah, no. Right. All indicators do. Um, yeah. Speedo lights, yeah. all those things. Yeah, cool. What's this little hole here for? That panel. What's that panel there for? What's that, sorry? What's this panel there for? Oh, who knows? I'm not too sure. There's some weird but, but these open. Yeah. Oh, I haven't tried opening it for years, but yeah. it would. Paul, thanks so much. Oh, I learned a lot today. I'm sure heaps of other people are going too. So you can go and see these cars up at your museum. I'm, I'm going to get up there for sure, so I might run into you up there. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Cheers. See ya. See you later. Keep watching.